It's 1949, and I am three years old. We have recently moved to Queens, that new land of opportunity where everyone is welcome, provided you are white, um, patriotic, heterosexual, gender specific, hardworking, and God fearing. Did I say white? Yeah. <laughs> Queens, where all neighborhoods look and sound the same. Me and Mommy are walking on Main Street and the sun's shining on us and we're in a big hurry to get home and make the roast beef dinner. When I see her, oh, oh, I've seen her before. Her jacket lifted by just one finger is casually slung over her broad shoulder. Her pants with the fly in the front hang loosely over her black leather loafers. A cigarette dangles on her lips easily, and with one hand, she smooths back her short cropped hair. Oh, she is thin and nimble and makes her way across the street. <gasps> mommy, mommy, did you see her? Did you see her, mommy? She's over there. Yeah, yeah, I saw her, what about it? Mommy. That is a lady dressed like a man. And that's exactly what I want to be when I grow up. Y you want to be a, a, oh, oh, mommy, are you okay? Oh yeah, I, I'm fine. I, I just can't breathe. Well, somewhat confused, but undaunted in my quest to be the perfect boy, I am looking, looking and looking for a little, cute, adorable girl that I can take in my arms and say, did you wash the floor and scrub the dishes and do the ironing? After you do all that, you can sit in my lap. Oh, all my little girlfriends, they loved it when I made up games because they knew I would always be the boy. <laughs> So now I am six, and um, I am six, and I'm on my way to see my friend Joyce. I've got on my father's jacket, and when I arrive, me and Joyce disappear quickly into the bedroom. We lock the door. Okay, Joyce, I got a good game. It's called Audition, and I, of course, am the director. So... Show me what you got. The next thing I knew, she bends forward and her little dress goes up over her head. Hey, I was very happy to show you that. And I even got more. Um, uh, well, that's okay, Joyce. Um, you, you got the part. <laughs> you will be Marlena, the queen of the rhombless, and I will watch you through each and every movement. Yeah, but I gotta be naked, okay? Completely naked. And she starts to pull down her little undies and spread everything. I could see pink and orange and brown and a little white. Well... Is there anything else you want me to do? Yeah, pull them up. And always remember, I am the director. So life goes on and themes are a little different from me, for me. I see myself as a tall, handsome man. Now I know nobody else sees me like that, but I know who I really am. Okay, so it's time to go to Grandma's house. And I wear my father's jacket, as always, and I have a necktie. Now I've got in my bedroom a diagram that shows me exactly how to make my tie knot. I got a pipe and a hat. I'm a hell of a guy. I saunter over to my aunt, and I go, Hey, Tilly, what's cooking? Suddenly, her teeth clench, and her eyes start to furiously bat. She looks in my direction and says, It's Aunt Tilly to you, 
little girl. Muriel, Muriel, why do you let her dress like such a freak? I'm not a freak. I'm not a freak, I tell you, but I am beginning to feel somewhat on the outside. It's like there's a big window and I'm looking through and there's always a window. And the people on the inside, they're loved and they're happy. And, and I think they seem to hate me. But I'm just going to keep all my secrets to myself until one day when I feel safe, I'm going to let it all out and then watch out. Thank you.